Now that we've gotten some of the preliminary understandings of where the base notes are, what their numbers are, and what their names are, let's move on to study number one, which is playing with the open bass strings. You might want to just do the first beat of every measure, combining the bass note with the treble. Now, let's hear the exercise complete. Study number two chords with alternate tuning. This is the first study with the alternate bass note tuning, which will be tuned from B to F natural, C natural, and G natural. That's just a half step down from the standard tuning, B, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Very often in concert, I use a chromatic tuner uh, to get me in tune before I perform, and I use this IntelliTouch tuner some of you may be already using it. It's really a handy tool and it's very, very accurate. I endorse it. As you will see that at the end of the piece, I took my right hand, placed it on the saddle, as a unit and then closed off the strings. I have confidence that by this time you're already getting used to playing the 10 string guitar. So let's proceed with study number three. I wanted to write something that had melodic lines with the open bass strings that introduces moving in your left hand onto the seventh string. For example, in measures 10 to measures 11, you'll be playing this, starting off on the third string and going down to the seventh string. <laughs> study number three as written. On to study number four, chords on the bass strings. Often I get asked, can you do chords, arpeggios, and scales on the bass strings? And I say, yes, of course, why not? I wanted to demonstrate this with this study. <laughs> Thank you. 
I wanted to write a study so that you can easily experience going from the first string to the tenth string. <laughs> This study is a melodic piece that employs alternating bass strings in a rhythmic pattern. This study will allow you to play and strum across all the ten strings by using a variation of the bass note tuning. Note that as you strum the bass notes and then move towards the treble strings as indicated in measure three, I find that it's best to move the right hand slightly below the rosette of the sound hole. Placing the right hand here produces a naturally brighter sound which will give the strumming a little bit more character. <laughs> 